super hot in my room. Um, I'm gonna. I wanted to update my YouTube channel because it's been like over a year, and I ordered a couple products off the Fenty website, and I figured why not film it. Um, hopefully the audio will be okay. My camera actually broke, so I haven't been filming anything. And I'm actually borrowing my friend's camera. So, thank you, Ricky. <clears throat> um, I already moisturized my face, so I'm just going to put the foundation on. This is their Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I actually didn't really like it when I first applied it, because I thought it was a little too streaky. But... If I pat it in with my fingers, it's okay. I'm sitting on the floor in my room because this is where I usually get ready after I shower. I really like, um... If you saw the other Fenty video I did with the original foundation, it might have seemed like I didn't like it at first because I wasn't used to wearing such a matte foundation. But I started to put like a drop of oil into it and then I actually really liked the way it looked after. And the Fenty foundations really oxidize so it might look too white right now, but it, it does really oxidize a few shades down. If you follow me on Instagram, you, you would have saw that I bleached my hair, so it's super fried right now. <laughs> it's, I can put treatment after treatment, but it's super dry. I'm sweating because it's so hot in my room. Ooh. Got a little pimple there. I'm just bringing whatever's left on my brush down to my neck. So, if I feel like the brush isn't really blending it nicely, I always pat it in with my fingers and that really helps it start looking like natural skin again. I actually should have started with this. Not gonna lie, I opened this and used it yesterday. It's their Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. It's really, it's a really nice formula. And it's not too shiny, which I like. It's like a hint of vanilla smell. <clears throat> it's looking a little white on camera, but I, I swear it oxidizes it down. I squirted a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna 
double up on some areas. that on my lip. I don't know why. I feel like my lips are too big so kind of hides it a little bit. I don't think I'm going to use any concealer because the foundation covers everything pretty much. Um, I did buy this as well, their cream bronzer, which I'm going to use. I gained like 10 quarantine pounds, so hopefully this helps me a little. Yeah, hopefully this is my shade. It's the Butter Biscuit one. I'm going to use a brush. Oh yeah. I'm just going to use um, kind of a buffing brush to buff this out a bit. I don't want it to look super obvious, so just a little bit. My hair is growing out. I really prefer um, cream products over powder. Even though I have oily skin, I just, I've embraced the oil. At first, um, the quarantine kind of bothered me. It totally changed my lifestyle because I always went out. But as I started to get used to it, I was like, well, I actually think it's fine. Of course, I would like things to go back to normal, but like fully back to normal if possible. Camera stopped recording. Um, I actually bought this matchstick, the glow stick, the glow skin stick crayon. Um, <clears throat> I really love the Pat McGrath like cream highlighter sticks. So when I saw this, I was like hoping that it would be the same. And I did swatch this. It's, it's really nice. But what I like is that there's no like glittery particles it's just like a nice sheen so i'm gonna apply this with my finger Ooh, i don't know if you can see that it just looks like a really dewy skin I also bought this um, kilowatt in what's this one called? Oh, Metal Moon. I don't think I'm gonna use it today, but I just I've always wanted it, so I bought one. Cause you know, quarantine shopping. <laughs> Ooh, 
Sunday. Um, originally, why I bought all this stuff was because they came out with a cream blush, and there's an orange one called Fuego Flush, and I have been searching for an orange blush like for a very long time. I can never seem to find like a really orange one, but this one is quite orange. I tried it on yesterday actually, and at first I thought, you know, I was wishing it was kind of less sparkly and metallic-y, but then it does add another layer of kind of dewiness, which is nice. And I always like to pat cream blushes in with my finger. And also, I, I like to put blush where highlighter should be. So when it's creamy, it does give that kind of bounce of light, which is nice. Yeah. Those are pretty much all the products. I did buy, like, this as well, this Mademoiselle. Um, lipstick and pumpkin rose. I don't know why I bought this. It's like their orange lipstick, but it's a pumpkin color, obviously. I always kind of had this weird obsession with like orange things, like an orange face. <laughs> not like an orange face, not like Trump or anything, but like orange lips, orange cheeks, but I don't want it to look like I'm wearing lipstick, so I just want a little like Flush of orange. But then does it look like I ate something? <laughs> I kind of figured I could use this as a blush too if all goes wrong. Just like a little deeper. I don't want to look like I have jaundice, though. I should stop there. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to update a couple more videos since I'm boring my friend's camera. I might as well. But I don't really know what to film. That's my biggest, like, issue. And also, sometimes I think Hi. <laughs> like what what am I filming about? But yeah. Bye.